Hello everyone and welcome to the channel. So a lot many of you were asking that what are the important certificates or what to be done after qualifying JRF basically. So there is a lot more process uh, involved in like uh, after qualifying JRF. But here in this video I'm going to talk about that what are those three important certificates which you should get after qualifying JRF and how to get that. Okay, I'll talk about everything in detail. So do watch this video till end. If you have any other question you can ask in the comment section below. All right. So the first certificate which you should get is your updated scorecard. Scorecard is a certificate which is if you have given CSIR NTA uh, exam or CSIR NTA JRF, if you have qualified that, in that case, we will get this certificate on the NTA website, okay, CSIR NTA website. I will give you link to uh, reach out to all these websites in the description of this video so that you don't have any trouble in reaching out to the official websites. So go to that website, log in using your credentials, using your uh, like uh, your application number, date of birth and all. And once we will log in, we will be able to see your scorecard and that scorecard will contain how much marks you have got. It will also show the status that whether you have qualified the exam or not. And if you have qualified the exam, it will also, also show that with which rank you have qualified. Okay. So all these three informations are there. Score, how much you have got. Uh, like uh, what whether you have qualified this exam or not and if you have qualified with how much rank you have qualified now the thing is key this also has other details like your basic details and all this certificate does not have a, as such importance if you are uh, like if you are planning to do research and all but this is this is one of the certificate which is uh, like recommended to download and keep because this is going to act as a reference certificate or as a as a, a certificate as a provisional certificate you can say that that will be there with you and until you don't get the actual GRF certificate or until you don't get the net certificate this scorecard is going to work as the provisional certificate so that's why this is very important to get it first okay um, as I already told you how to download it so it will be there on the website you just have to log in and all and once you are done with it take a print of it and keep it with you it's very important document okay the second important document is in case if you have qualified JRF. So if you have qualified JRF, you must have qualified either CSIR JRF or you must have qualified either UGC JRF, right? Uh, if you see the result, there are sections of the result. Like in the section one of the result, there are roll numbers for CSIR JRF. In the section two of the result, there are roll numbers for UGC JRF. And there is a section three also, which is the roll number for only LS qualified or uh, net qualified student. They are not JRF qualified, section three one, okay? So I'm talking, I'm, right now I'm going to talk about section 1 of result that means those who have qualified CSIR JRF. Now what is the difference between them? I have already made a video on that. There is a link of that in the in the i button I will give you or in the description you can watch that what is the difference between CSIR JRF and what is the difference between UGC JRF, right? Now to get CSIR certificate or if you have qualified CSIR JRF for that in order to get the certificate. CSIR will notify you after a few days. It, it takes around, I think, I think around 15 to 1 month it takes. Depends upon the uh, like functionality of CSIR, how fast or how slow they are working. Depending upon that, they will uh, like they will give a notification on their website uh, stating that you have to submit some certificate. So CSIR does not give certificate or they do not give that JRF letter as or JRF certificate easily or directly. Okay, They want some certificates from you. So they will ask for a list of certificate. I'll show you how it looks. So I'm just going to, sh uh, to show you a notification of the previous year. So if you can see on the screen, it says that the qualified candidates candidates whose roll number are listed in part one of the result, CSIR, JRF and, and JRF only are requested to send self-attested photocopies of the following documents. What are those documents? First one is your scorecard. I told you scorecard is important to download. So scorecard that uh, like download that scorecard. Then your 10 certificate, then degree or provisional degree certificate, then final mark sheet of the required percentage marks, then CGP or SGP, a conversion formula if there is uh, some conversion formula in your uh, university if it is there. So you give that. Then the purification of the marks in case of dual degree. So if you have MS, uh, like if you are doing BSc integrated MSc or if you are doing BS MS degree, in that case it is required. SCST certificate if applicable, uh, latest OBC certificate if it is applicable, then PWD certificate if it is applicable and EWS certificate if it is available. So all these certificates, whatever is applicable, you have to provide that. There are other points also mentioned over here and you have to basically send all these documents by post. Now CSIR accepts all these documents by post. You have to send them by post and they will give you the address and all in the notification itself. So uh, you have to just take the photocopy of all these certificates, do self-attest of that. 
put it in a envelope and post it to them once it will reach to them they will provide you a link and they will contact you on your email and they will give you the certificate okay so this is the process of getting a grf letter for csir grf students now if you are not csir grf you come under section 2 of the result that means you come under ugc grf uh, candidate in that case you don't have to submit any certificate okay they don't ask for a certificate unless and until uh, like you are under result awaited category or such so in that case only they will ask otherwise no certificate is asked by ugc grf they are simply going to provide you your grf letter on that particular website so i have given the link of that website again in the description of this video uh, that also takes some time it it takes around one month after the publication of result so after that the ugc is going to notify you on their portal that they have updated the website and now you can download your grf certificate as well uh, you have to go to their website you have to uh, like select the circle of the exam cycle of the exam whether it is june 2021 so the recent one was june 2022 so whatever uh, like uh, the cycle is you have to select that you have to give your application number you have to give your roll number uh, sorry application number and date of birth and once you are done with it you have to submit that once you will submit you will be able to see your grf uh, certificate over there take a print of that grf certificate and keep it with you and that is going to be another important certificate so this is going to be the second certificate which you need in like depending upon whether you are csir grf or ugc grf this is going to be the second one third important certificate is your net or ls certificate if you have qualified for grf and if you meet the eligibility for ls qualification also which is to be enrolled in msc so if you are msc uh, like if you are enrolled in msc and if you have applied for grf and if you have qualified grf in that case automatically you have qualified net also or ls also that's why your result is under csir bracket net grf and also like ugc in the bracket it is net grf that means you have qualified grf and net both over there okay well there are some students who are just grf qualified they are not uh, like net qualified or they are not ls qualified these are those who do not meet the eligibility criteria for ls to apply for ls the minimum eligibility criteria is to uh, be enrolled into msc is to be enrolled into master okay so because uh, csir provides a, a like condition that even bsc final year student can also apply for this so those students are not eligible for ls they are eligible for grf they can only qualify for grf not for ls okay so that's why their roll number uh, might if they have qualified in that case their roll number is in the part 2 or section 2 of uh, part 1 result okay so under csir grf there is small section over there where their roll number is written so they do not get this net certificate okay rest apart from them all other students whether they are csir grf whether they are ugc grf or the, whether they are only ls qualified all these three types of a student all these uh, people who have qualified they all are eligible to get ls certificate or net certificate Again, to get that net certificate, the process is same as UGC JRF certificate. You have to go to the UGC website, select the cycle of the exam, give your roll number, give your application number and you have to submit and you will be able to download your LS certificate. Now, if you have qualified UGC JRF, in that, uh, like when you will, uh, like when you will log in, you will be able to see two documents over there. One will be UGC JRF letter or JRF certificate and one will be net LS certificate. And if you are just LS qualified, in that case, you won't be seeing that JRF letter or JRF certificate, only LS certificate will be there, okay? So whatever is applicable to you, download that particular one and keep it safe with you because these documents are very important and especially this JRF uh, certificate is valid for three years. So that is very important certificate for you for the next three years. And the net certificate, the LS certificate is for your lifetime. So that is the most, most important document, okay? Take a print of it take a color print of it i would say and take uh, like laminate that and keep it very safe with you uh, so don't consider that these are like digital certificates so i will keep it in my laptop and all i will not take a print of it because it's recommended okay it's my personal recommendation because on laptop or anywhere it might get you might forget it or you might uh, like delete it or somewhere okay and you can download it multiple times of course but why to take that risk or why to do that again and again okay take a print of it laminate it keep it very safe with you you have earned this certificate okay so respect that and keep it along with you so i thought to make this video so that you all get to know that what are the important certificate and how to get them i hope the things are clear to you and i hope you all will be able to download your certificates easily without any hassle 
If there is any question which you have in your mind, you can ask that in the comment section below. I'll try to answer you over there. Thank you so much for watching. Please do subscribe the channel for more research related content, for more PhD related content. I'll be uploading them on this particular channel. So subscribe the channel, like the video if you like it. And that's it from my side. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you in the next one. Till then, have a great day. Bye-bye. Take care.